We're going to be learning how to use Stop Motion Studio and export into iMovie and do editing in there. So when you're in the library scene that looks just like this, you're going to click on what you want to export. So once you're in where you want to export, there's this button down here at the bottom that looks like a square with a triangle or an arrow coming out the top and we're going to click that and it's going to give us some options. I want to click save to camera roll and so it's going to give me an option to pick a size once I click save to camera roll. For what we're doing, um, we just want to do large. So the higher I go up, the more high depth the quality is, the bigger the file is going to be and the longer it's going to take to export. So we just want to do large for this and then we're going to click the purple share button. It's going to start exporting to my camera roll. On yours it may ask if you want to allow for photos and if it asks do you want to allow it to access your photos just like this you're going to say OK and then it will tell you it's been exported to your camera roll. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go open up iMovie. And now we can create a new project in iMovie. So I'm going to click the plus and then I'm going to click movie. Right at the top, um, if it asks you about a theme, it doesn't really matter. Yours probably won't ask you about a theme. This iPad just has an older version. So under the um, files over here, I can see where there's some files. Oops. So I can go to, I can see that I found my video and I can double tap it to bring it down. And then I can see that my file's in there. So I can do a bunch of things from this area. So one thing I can do is I could add at the beginning here, I could add a title slide. So I could make something in Pic Collage and import it. I could also um, take a picture. So if I wanted to take a picture from this screen, I could do that. I'm just gonna take a picture of the floor for now. And then I'm gonna use that photo. And then I can click on the photo and one of my options is going to be titles. At the bottom I click on titles and now I can add text over the photo. So I could give my video a title if I wanted to. I would just tap on that and I could change the text. <clears throat> then, so now I've got a title. I could do the same thing at the end if I wanted to put credits or something like that. Another thing that you can do is you could split a clip. So I'm going to go to the part of the video clip that I want to insert something in. So I might want to insert another video in there. I might want to insert a text slide that says like the next day, something like that. Down here where it says actions, I can say split. And now I've got two video clips. So I could insert a photo between. I could do transitions, different things like that. When I'm ready to record my voiceover, I would click where I want to start. I put the white line where I want to start and then I'm going to click this little microphone kind of hard to see right here. This little microphone and it's going to ask if I'm ready to record. It's going to show the green bars that show it's picking up sound. Then I'm going to hit the red record button. It'll count down three, two, one and then it's going to start recording. It will continue recording even past where you have video so it will continue going and just keep recording and then when you play it back it'll just have it'll go past it and then just have black screen so it's something you kind of need to keep an eye on and make sure that you stop talking when the video stops um, if I played it back and I didn't like it I can click on it and then I can delete it and I can take that away when I'm done with my video and I'm ready to export it and upload it to canvas I'm going to click done.